okay so here looks like it has done the job and it has done the npm installation so let me take you to the project and let's run that project okay so i will simply say ng sub and it should compile my all the project and show up you in the browser so let's see what's going on and then ng sub has started it has started building so it has been build at 10 percent okay so it's going on and there are source folder node module folder has been created the moment so we are done with npm install and uh, here is the all the node modules required files okay here is the source code in which we are having app and difference chart js also it has used to in order to show the chart so we'll see once this Compilation is done, 92% chunk assets optimization is done, and uh, then let us go to the browser and say localhost 4200. Okay, so it has compiled the project for me successfully. Now let's refresh this thing. Okay, somehow connection is refused. Okay, let's see what's happening around. Okay. So let me go and see why. Are we there in the correct directory? Okay, let's go and run it again okay here is my integrated terminal okay shall say okay root get it closed cancel it so I will type the command again and be sure Okay, so to disable this warning, we can just add global warning version uh, is match. And it says localhost 4200. What else I have opened it? Let's see if this time it works out and goes well. Okay, so until and unless it is not 100%, I will not go and run it. And <coughs> so building all the modules, whatever is there. And there is no ng live development server is listening on localhost 4200. So we need to open the browser for localhost 4200. And let's see. It's compiling, bundling, everything, keeping into the required folders. And it will spin up the project for you. So here we go. It's 92% chunk optimization has been done. Trying to open it localhost 4200 and it looks like it has opened it and it's coming up. Okay, it is taking a little bit more time. Wow, it's really awesome. See, look at this. You are having user profile over here, you are having notification over here, you are having dashboard, users, settings, you are having different components over here, the which I shown you and it's, you are having widgets you are having different kind of charts over here so almost everything in one project and one theme and you could uh, just utilize this theme and in your real time project it's really awesome i would like to thanks to core ui themes for this hard work and the way they have given it's pretty simple to implement those things these are the cards these are the forms such as tabs, icons, icons, the best thing is that icons you can use from the font or some whatever icon you would like to use it and these are the widget page which they are showing so this is a widget page on the landing itself which they are showing 
so definitely i liked it please like subscribe and comments first of all please subscribe my channel like my videos if you have any questions comment on my videos i will answer all the questions i have given many sessions on angular 5 how to do the crud operation how to do use high charts how to use prime and g all those things just have a look on my playlist and you will get everything over here so thanks for watching thank you so much